Hey, good morning. Um, I got my pain clothes on. So yeah, last night I was passing through a watch channel and one of the participants in the live stream, <laughs> Stu calls himself the wizard. He's already given off some weird vibes, some other kind of weird things he said before. But this time he said that um, they were having a conversation about something in a dentist. The, the dentistry profession was brought up and dude said that women and black people couldn't be good dentists because of some some sort of reason he was about to give off, but it kind of stopped him, whatnot. But he's about to say something about some bone or something like that, you know, and wherever he got that from is probably some pseudoscience with mixed in with with uh pseudoscience mixed in with some sort of bit of truth. But the fact that I don't even care about the bone part, but the fact that he said that Blacks and women have the same malady or, or condition or some sort of anomaly that we or women can't be good dentists. Like you can't be dentists. So you can do, you can do everything else. You could be you could be athletic. You be great. It's like a lot of a lot of blacks are great surgeons and athletes and do a lot of things that require a lot of precision with your hands. But you can't be good dentists. So I was kind of thinking that's that same pseudoscience. Um, racist uh made up medical terminology to justify certain things and i was trying to think of this and i, I pulled it up but it's it, it plays into stuff like and some of this stuff was actually printed in professional medical journals even some at harvard they had to get rid of the, rid of these fake diseases that they attributed to uh blacks at one time but right here i'm reading on the jim crow museum uh ferris edu uh drake tomania it's, a, it's basically a made-up disease that, that blacks have the tendency to run away from slave plantations. And it was actually published in a, in a medical journal. It was invented by Samuel Cartwright, a Louisiana physician, published a paper entitled Report on the Diseases and Physical Peculiarities of the Negro Race. Actually, there used to be a whole science back in the 1800s called Negroology where they came up with all these items about black people that weren't true. It was it was like like it was a it was like a a, a, partic a particular thing you could study, Negroology. But Cartwright claimed he would discover two new diseases peculiar to blacks that he believed justified enslavement as therapeutic therapeutic necessity for, for the slaves and as a medical and moral responsibility for their white masters. He claimed that blacks who fled slavery suffered from drapetomania in his words, drapetomania is from Drake Tease, a runaway slave, is either mad or crazy. It is unknown to our medical authorities, although his diagnostic symptoms could be absconding from service. It's well known to our planners and overseers, and blah, 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 and a lot of other bullshit. But, um, boo, excuse my language. It was, it was common in the 1840s, 1850s for pro-slavery pro advocates to claim that black benefited from being slaves and whatever, blah, blah, blah. blah. So, and so this this kind of stuff was justified in order right right here to amputate toes or beat the devil out of them, you know. And it was another disease. Let me see if I can find it. Uh, oh, I can't even pronounce this. Um, I, I want to know how he made this stuff up. Dysathesia athiopica, the apparent lack of work ethic exhibited by many slaves. You know, the diagnostic from the center. Symptoms include disobedience, insolence, and refusing to work before the slaves. All right, but yeah, so I heard that garbage from this dude who calls himself the wizard last night. I was just like, bro, that's like, yeah, okay. He didn't have the nerve to say this racist stuff, you know? And, it, and I kind of was thinking about something, other questionable items I've heard on different watch channels. It was this one video um, that I saw one time and I actually called her out on this. But of course, she would. Well, the video had like she was admonishing, um, flexing culture. Um, and hold on, I'm, I'm looking up something else. And and of course, she was um, showing a lot of buffoonery, buffoonish-looking blacks, you know, with with with, with so-called bust-down watches, and you know, kind of. They were rappers, so she pretty much showed like the bottom of the barrel, uh, easy pickings, low hanging fruit type of images and videos to show this flexing culture. Like she's almost saying, well, like these people, they were like black people, they were ruining, you know, the watch, watch, the watch uh, culture. Like 
most blacks don't even wear luxury watches like on a day to day. Like most most blacks don't. Even, I wonder what the percentage of blacks who buy luxury watches are. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, 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 um, so I called her out on And of course her response was, I'm sorry you took it that way. Typical, typical racist response. You know, sorry you took it that way. Like it's my fault. I'm the, I'm the racist now. They twist it around. I'm the, I'm the person that has a problem. Not you. You know, not even, a, not even an ounce of a introspection to, to say, well, maybe these images were, gaslighting or whatnot, but you know, not, but who cares? And I know most of you don't care, but I just thought I had to get this off my chest. If you want to read more, it, 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 Drake, Drake, Tomania. Yeah, that's what it's, yeah, that's crazy. And like I said, a lot of this stuff, it, it, there's, there used to be volumes of these made up diseases. And like I said, a lot of this stuff was published in professional medical journals. And a lot of it was, um, was, um, had to be taken out by like the forties and fifties rolled around. You know what I'm saying? Just like the same thing operating on on black slaves that weren't um, that were that were awake. You know, cutting them open, experimenting them on them, experiment experimenting on black women, cutting uh, cutting you know into their stomachs. Look at their reproductive organs and all that. It's called medical apartheid. But uh, you know, no no anesthesiology. You know, nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? Just cutting folk open, looking at their bones and shit. Because the whole thing was that black people can withstand pain more than anybody else. So we just cut these these pe people over and you know, look all up in them. That's cool. Okay, so I'm about to uh, get the painting. Um, I'm trying to do like 30 something portraits before the end of the month. So I'm gonna sell them. All right, cool. Thank you for watching. Uh, you have a good day. Um, and don't leave me a bunch of BS racist comments on my thing because I, I might just turn the comments off because I don't want to hear you. I'm not going to respond to you. I might respond. If I do respond to you, it's going to be something ignorant on my part. I really don't care what you say. All right. I'm not here to argue with you or prove to you. I'm not going to. I'm not. If, yeah. Don't don't send me links and all that or some or some trying to prove your point because I'm not going to try to prove my point back. I know wrong when I hear, it, you know, OK, I'm not I'm not arguing. I'm arguing the fact that. Dude said you, you can't be a, a good dentist because of some reason. It's, it, it's just it's just it's more it's more gaslighting, more racist justification for certain things. You know, when 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 you go to the hospital and a black doctor shows up to to, to take a look at you in the emergency room, you sit there and tell them like, I don't no, I'm good, I don't want him. You know, same thing or a one, you know, same thing. So I don't want to hear. It. All right, I might just respond. With an ignorant statement, get me kicked off of here. I'm not that guy. All right. Okay. Thanks for watching.